tonight, one man's way of trying to build a better Bay Area, although not one that police would recommend. Last year, San Francisco, uh, there were more than 20,000 reported thefts from vehicles. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke with a San Francisco resident and business owner who has taken it upon himself to fight back and protect his neighborhood. She's in the newsroom with an interview and a story you'll see only on ABC 7. Luz? Yes, Dan, the San Francisco resident you're about to meet says he's hoping to help his neighborhood. At first, he was yelling at thieves who were breaking into cars. Now he's walking around the area hoping to scare them off. He's lived in San Francisco for over 20 years, and lately, instead of going by his legal name, people call him... I'm called Boots, working from outside rather than inside. Covering his face with a ski mask to protect his identity, Boots walks around his neighborhood, Fisherman's Wharf, looking like this and with a non-lethal weapon on his waist that looks like a gun. His goal is to scare off thieves from breaking into cars. The criminals are getting to know us. I wouldn't call it an organized anything. It's just concerned citizens. Every day is a small victory. You know, uh, you chase them off from one corner. For years, he's captured videos of car break-ins, and now he says frustration led him to take matters into his own hands. He says he's doing it to help the area where he lives and owns a business. The tourists aren't going to come here. The business of some people that, you know, have lived here and uh, been here for their entire lives, and it's not fair. According to SFPD's incident data, on average, there are 67 thefts from vehicles every day in San Francisco. Outside of this brunch spot, employees see car breakings on a daily basis. They just leave all their stuff in there and then boom, shakalaka, less than five seconds, they grab your stuff and they're gone. Many who work here share a common sense of helplessness. I'm frustrated too and you can't do anything. Yesterday, while Boots was walking in the area, SFPD arrested him for brandishing an imitation firearm which is a misdemeanor. We don't recommend anyone doing that. We understand everyone's frustration. Uh, officers are frustrated in taking the number of police reports regarding auto burglaries occurring throughout the city. However, there is a system in place to do that. SFPD says they're short staffed, but to Boots, even though he was arrested, he viewed this as another victory. While the police were there, there was nobody getting their car broken into for that half hour. There's no way to truly know if what he's doing is working. But we met this couple from New York who did the unthinkable. I see your suitcases in the back. Yes, I guess we're lucky that nothing happened. Or maybe thieves are noticing. There is some protection here. 